Yeah. Shipping up. Do you have a crime corner today? I do. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Crime corner. Crime corner. <laughs> Crime corner. Crime corner. So inmate in wheelchair escapes custody near Pulaski County Courthouse. Um, the best thing about this is the accompanying video. And don't worry, nobody died. Nobody was burned and died, okay? Okay. Um, but the Pulaski County Sheriff's Office released video showing an inmate in a wheelchair escaping custody Monday. According to investigators, 41-year-old Joel Delgado used a wheelchair as his cover. Um, a lot of things were done wrong in this, but we'll let's go ahead and watch the video. Oh, you got a video of this too? Yeah, it's after the world's longest after fucking commercial plays on sure, the sure, sure, sure. Here we go. Uh, is the yeah, is the masters muted? Okay, yeah, because we'll get definitely ding for that. Uh, uh, and I'm going to unmute this. There you All go. Right, ready? Yeah, let's, let's party with it. Oh, he's in a fucking wheelchair, huh? Yeah. Neck brace. Yeesh. Okay. Yeesh. Bozo ring. Get a B ring. No, no need to uh, handcuff him in there. Like, uh, get him right in the store. All right, sir. Hey, you see a shoe back there? Do you see a shoe back there? Where is it? And whoops. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! He's he gets gone. Across the street, he gets into a cab. He escapes. Look oh, at that, that dude. Up in a suit, though. Yeah. Does he take? Does he get out of there? What is it? Yeah, yeah, he gets into a cab. The wheelchair do he, he fully escapes. They find him later on 65th Street. Yeah. Hey, did you see a fucking... No way. He didn't need that wheelchair very much, did he? Hell no. Holy shit, this guy's a hero. So they're reviewing... What was he charged for? They're reviewing... Now, first, it was just burglary and, um, like... No assault, no rape? Robert. No, it wasn't even anything bad, and Correct. now it's going to be real bad, right? So... He that originally faced fast. charges of residential burglary and possession of a firearm, which, I mean, especially at his age, whatever, like, yeah. it would not have been bad. But now he's facing um, escape charges. So they, well, they, they caught him? Deputies said that he, he was able to catch a cab nearby and then was arrested on West 65th Street a couple of hours later because um, somebody saw him, obviously, in his, you know. Jail looked like he had escaped from jail him. for sure. Did sure. he have the chain? Did he have handcuffs on? No, he had no. So, so why did he just change his clothes? They're reviewing the video to see if there was anything that the deputies did wrong, right? I mean, obviously they didn't chain obviously him up. Obviously, he wasn't, you know, handcuffed to anything. Um, that was the fastest motherfucker I've ever seen. That was the fastest white man I've ever seen. Especially that, like, did the whole. You know, which I think a lot of people do, like what, Weinstein and stuff. Like, oh, I'm crippled. Like, he definitely yeah. did that. Yeah, yeah. Um, Delgado claimed to be injured after he was captured the first time and was transported to the hospital. So I think he, it feels like he planned this a little bit. Mm hmm. Um, Got him right, he did. That was, a, that was yeah. a whole plan that he had. Yeah. And his, his 40 time was probably a 4 4. I'm, I'm no expert. I think it was also getting but it looked fast. all the way to the front uh -huh. first yep. because that's sort of like where they're the most, you know, they're like, oh, we basically have him in. If it was any time before, I think they're kind of keeping their eye on him sure. whenever he's out in the open. But when you're up to the door, then, they, then they're like, oh, did you find a shoe? Oh, I'm sure. Talking to people like Beautiful. he really did it right, except for anything that happened happened after the escape he didn't have anything anybody when waiting anything in place yeah he was just gonna what roam around in his i mean look clothes. so here's here's where he went wrong okay mm. change the gotta dish the clothes obviously you can't roll around the streets in new york in a prison outfit sure now new york is the easiest place to get clothes because you can literally get them off of any corner because somebody's selling clothes outside on the corner of the street and just be like hey I'm going to give you fucking 40 
let's swap outfits here. Don't say a fucking word. Don't be a snitch. Nobody likes that. And in New York, people will go along with that, right? I, first thing I'd ask, is it child, child porn, rape, anything like that? No? Good. Take the clothes. Get the fuck yeah. out of here. Burglar, b- residential burglary and f- in possession of a firearm. Possession. Yeah. So he wasn't actually sticking up people. No, no, He no. just had it in case, right? So with a man that old who's able to sprint that fast, I'd, yeah. al- I'd also take him into a lab. Take some of his blood work and see how we can try to improve white men's speed uh, for the next 10 years. I think it's a great test right there. So, yeah. yeah. But he, he could have ditched those clothes and then moved on with his day. It's New York, for Christ's sakes. Mm-hmm. You know, put a hat on. Cover up the bozo ring. Sure. Put a fedora on. Sure. Put, a, put a That's what I'm saying. He didn't have on. anything in place. Get a drinking bros beanie, for Christ's sake. Do whatever he wants. Pretty, it's pretty easy to get clothes there unless he doesn't have any money on him. 